vibe. Yo, 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 it's about life, it's about life, it's your boy Shane, aka Black Duplicate, what's up, what's up, what's up to all my lifers, welcome back, welcome back to About Life Podcast, and for all the new guys and all the new gals, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, so let's get it on, so as y'all know, you know, maybe you don't, but if you do, great, if you don't, you're gonna know today, some big news came out with XRP being involved in the digital dollar right so let's 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 do this let's go, let's go check this out all right hold on one second let me just refix my stuff i did have it nice and neat but hey sometimes things happen here we go everybody knows xrp if you're in crypto you know xrp if you're new to crypto you should know xrp we all know they have a lawsuit going on with the sec oh yeah we already know that's been going on for a long time now but interesting to say Ripple joins new digital dollar initiative to help explore solutions for U.S. CBDC program. Whoa, ho, ho. And as you go down, Ripple will participate in a new in initiative from the Digital Dollar Project, a non-profit organization to find CBDC solutions for the United States. The program initiative called the Technical Sandbox Program will be launched in October with cross-border payments, the first issue on the agenda. All right, and it goes into talking about all this good stuff. You could pause to read this if you like pause to read all that i'm not going to go through all that right and then there's more stuff right here sec lawsuit did not affect ripple's reputation much much right <laughs> despite the extremely aggravated long court battle between ripple and the sec the lawsuit against the company does not seem to have effect have affected the company's reputation at all. Ripple's expertise and technology in crypto business solutions, whether it's cross-border payments or liquidity, liquidity provision, are still highly valued by its old partner and remain strong interest to the new. It's funny that the company will now work on the digital currency of a country where it is being prosecuted. I don't blame Ripple at all. That's smart. What's interesting though is we're trying to sue Ripple and use them. You know who said something real similar to this? Coach JV. If you listen to Coach JV, it's probably not because you're probably out there doing your own stuff. But if you do get around to this, good shit because you predicted this. Coach JV said they they um they basically talk smack about it. You know, push it away. You know. Uh, scare the public with fear and then they sue it which is what they're doing and then they join it boom <laughs> of course of course jv said it in such a, a way more remarkable way than than what i said it he said it in this you know amazing uh uh better wording way you know what i mean but he was absolutely right he predicted this he predicted this and here it is right i haven't done an xrp breakdown i'm gonna do a little one right after i'm done with showing y'all this article i just find it really 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 interesting that that happened and it's right here <laughs> isn't that crazy isn't that crazy so xrp will be involved with the digital dollar that is huge by the way for everybody that doesn't like xrp that is huge but i don't know if people are gonna say oh it's not affecting the price and all this that's not what it's always about y'all y'all thinking too close to right now you gotta think five to ten years from now if you can't think five to ten years from now and you're just living right now that's your loss man that's your loss but anyways i got some good videos for y'all so here's some more news involving xrp and xlm and 
XDC in Algo, which we did an XLM introduction as well as an XDC intro and an Algorand intro, which you already know those three tokens are my number, my my top holds, and then H bar is also one of my top holds, and then of course I got XRP as well, right? London is ready. Y'all ready for this? A two minute video. London is ready. Let's go. We've been thinking hard about the benefits, challenges, and opportunities <laughs> that are offered by new financial technologies. Earlier this uh, month, on the 4th of April at FinTech, uh, UK's FinTech Week, I, I set out FinTech. our firm ambition to make Britain a global hub for crypto asset technology and investment. A place where firms can yeah, that's global hub and start up. And the message that we're sending to crypto firms is that the UK is open for business, open for crypto business. <laughs> oh, let me let me give that a round of applause. Y'all hear that? Britain. A hub. A global hub. London. Ready and wide open for crypto business. And we're backing up these words with clear and urgent actions. Here we In go. In fact, we've just announced a package of reforms which will lead to an evolution to the way that we regulate crypto assets and aspects of the way that they're treated for tax. This is John Glenn. He currently serves as the Economic Secretary to the Treasury which is the sixth most senior ministerial post in the UK Treasury. The Economic Secretary is responsible for devising of regulations, orders, and legislation in various matters. These include specifically legislating to bring stable coins into payments regulation. Oh! by amending the UK's existing electronic money and payments legislation. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? If you didn't, go back. Stable coins. To help create the right conditions for stablecoin issuers and service providers. Huge. We've also committed to consult on a future regulatory regime for a broader set of crypto activities, such as the trading of tokens later this year. And I just uh, mentioned that this is something that we do in full knowledge and awareness of what's happening in other jurisdictions. In my conversations in Washington, both in September and uh, two weeks ago, I'm very aware of the range of activities that are going on in this space. The President's executive order, the 13 reports he's commissioned, talking to the different regulators, and there are several in the US, and trying to work out how do we respond to this challenge. There isn't a playbook on the shelf, but we are determined to get it right here in the UK. Let me, let me get that TikTok for you there's that TikTok. I want to thank y'all for that for that amazing video. I hope y'all are paying attention to what, what what was just said. He said the president, you know, U.S. is going to them like, "Hey, how do we do this?" And they're like, "Hey, we don't got a playbook, but yo, we about to make one for you." Basically, <laughs> like, yo, this is wild. This is wild, bro. This is huge. This is huge. And then we got this. Once again, Coach JV said Fed now wallets, bro. Fed now wallets. Look what the feds are saying. The Fed now service will transform the way everyday payments are made throughout the economy, bringing substantial gains to households and businesses through the ability to send instant payments at any time on any day with funds immediately available to recipients to make other payments or manage cash flow. Immediate availability of funds could be especially important for households managing their finances paycheck to paycheck or small businesses with cash flow constraints. Having the capacity to manage money in real time could help households avoid costly late fees or free up working capital for small businesses to finance growth. <laughs> yo, yo, either, either, like, this is crazy. Like, I watch Coach JV's podcast, at, like, every morning, right? 
This man has predicted all of this, bro. Dude is a manifestation machine, bro. Insane. Insane. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Digital currency coming this December. If you haven't gotten yourself ISO. Videos like that kind of frustrate me. Because that was a lot. Yeah, yeah. The guy, he, he does a break breakdown. Pay attention. Watch. <laughs> Yes. It's giving a facelift to the financial sector altogether. Yes. Faster communication. No more three day deposits. Just read every single one of these boxes. They're attacking a different part of the same puzzle. This is a worldwide thing, not a nation thing. Real, real quick, go back. Go back. Look at Stellar, Ripple, Algorin, XDC. Like, it's all right there, man. But it's right. Yes, it is a worldwide thing. Right below me. Yep. You have Swift. Yep. Who's cost of Peric? Every single one of the cryptocurrencies on here is the same puzzle. Different puzzle piece. Yep. XDC is trade finance. Yes. The black items above me, pay attention to those. If you really want to pay attention to XDC, <coughs> look into Corda. There's only two cryptocurrencies on this page. Ripple and Stellar. Yep. A lot of banks on here. A lot of payment processors. Yes. What's Project Dunbar? Again, this is a worldwide thing. Huh? You see Project Dunbar at the bottom? Yep. What about Project Adam? Look what into those boxes? people. Research. Iota's on that list, too. There's Iota. Read the boxes. It's kind of hard to see the um, the words on here, so pay attention to the emblems, and I'm going to explain what they are about. Each box represents something different. Trade finance. Trade finance. Insurance. Supply chain. Um, cross industry, pharmaceutical, luxury brands, payments, trade finance, transportation. Those partners are all partnered with the cryptocurrencies that have gone over on this. Field. Yes, exactly. The whole entire economy. Every single one of these cryptocurrencies. Quant, right in the middle. See that? SDC, Quant, Stellar, Algorand, IOTA, Hedera, Hashgraph. Oh, we can't forget Constellation. This Constellation. You notice any big names? Of course, bro. Right here it says March of 2020. What happened in March of 2020? This is about ending paper-based trade? Yes. The digitalization of documents. Right there. This is a patent for J.P. Morgan for the use of distributed ledger technology. So who was the creator of the that type of blockchain? Where's that patent at? One of those cryptocurrencies has that. And since we're still talking about ISOs, here's another one for you. And you can just pause and read this. This is the last thing I'll say. It's coming from the Inter International Chamber of Commerce. Now, that's a lot of fucking information. Now, what you do with that, that's completely up to you. <laughs> but I just gave you a whole clip. There's legislation, there's acquisition, everything. These are my graphics. Go follow. He's on Twitter. This is Costa Peric, by the way. Now, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, like, there you go, there you go, there you go, now, 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 let's, let's, let's do a quick little, little typical intro breakdown that I've been doing, starting from scratch, so y'all got through that greatness, but now let's do a starting from scratch, scratch on XRP, right? Ugh. Sorry about that. Crypto panic. So you would start. Right? Well, someone like me would start. So you open up crypto panic. And then you're gonna open up uh let's do uh we'll do coin gecko this time since last time we did uh coin market cap. So here's another good another good site for you. Coin gecko. Which I don't know why that didn't open, but it's okay. Coin Gecko. Now this is going to give you a list of coins for you to look into, but we're not going to do that because we already know what we're going to look into. But we're going to go. Okay, whoa, whoa. All right. Well, we got Bitcoin. We know that. We, you know Ethereum, stablecoin, stablecoin, Binance, uh, uh, basically Binance, stablecoin, XRP, 
XRP, okay. Let's go go to what what oh, Shane was saying, Crypto Panic. And we're gonna type in uh what's going on? Oh man. My bad. Ripped up here. What? I don't want to do V chain, man. Why is it doing V chain out the grip? Stop with the V chain. Right, I'll X that out. X that out. It's just my follow list. That's all. All right, we're going to go to XRP. Oh, okay. So show all. And here's your XRP information. Here's your graph. 33 cents. Too bad. Too bad if you're in the United States, you can't buy XRP. And then it's going to open up all the other stuff you need. Okay, you know what? Let's find their Twitter. Well, I want to look at their Twitter. Give it a sec. What's going on, man? Come on. Killing me, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. Okay, it's Twitter. Let that load up, and it's gonna give you the Twitter. No, I don't want to tweet it, man. Dang on, killing me now. Well, that's something else you can do if you want to go on Twitter and you want to tweet valuable information about coins. You can also do that. It wasn't what we were supposed to do, but you get the pitch. Oh, wrong button. My bad. That's the one you click on for Twitter. Now it's going to bring you up to the XRP Twitter, but I didn't even know they even had that button. Now I know. That's freaking amazing. All right. Well, here you go. Boom. There's the Ripple. Ripple, which is the company that runs XRP, right? Obviously. They are active four hours ago. 2.5 mil. Here's Ripple.com, their website. Now, this is just your starting points. These are your starting points. Now, you can go over here to, to their Twitter and just scroll down their feed. Scroll down their feed. See what they're doing. We can't wait to, to be back in person for our flagship event, Ripple Swell Global, Global in London, November 16th and 17th. Now you know of a Ripple event. Keep going. You know, it's going to tell you digital dollar plans to explore CBDC technical solutions, which is what we were just looking up, right? Boom. Keep going. It's going to keep talking about things. Talk about NFTs. Keep going. Keep going. Keep looking. Keep looking. But if you want to go deeper into, into their tech, here's their incredible, beautiful website. But you know Ripple is for companies. Something that you're going to be using will be XLM. That's what the small guys, the regular small little business folks, regular little human, little people, human people, are going to be using XLM. Then these global crazy massive companies and BlackRock and all that shit, they're going to use XRP. For the liquidity and the cross-border payments and all that shit. Right? This is their website. This is the the Ripple website. Talks about the solutions, resources. You can look up the team. All that great stuff. All that great information. Right? So you would start on right CoinGecko. You'll be scrolling down here. If you're watching this, maybe try Cardano now. See what Cardano's about. After you're done figuring out the information about Cardano, try Solana. After Solana, try Polkadot. After Polkadot, try, you know, Dodd's a stable coin. Dogecoin's a, a meme coin. Shiba's a meme coin. Try Polygon. After Polygon, Tron, and just keep going down the list and learning and learning and learning what these companies are and what they're doing. It's very revolutionary important, and very important for you to understand these things, right? And that's just a, a good starting point for you. So you now you know where to start your research. And then when you go into this and you go look into like solutions, for example, it's going to give you this. 
cross border payments. What the, what what the hell is that? You know, click on it. And then maybe go on a deep dive research about cross border payments. Now, settlement in seconds, n not days. And it's going to give you a little article and some slideshows and a little video on how they go about doing this. Look into all of this. Don't just waste your time scrolling through. Read all this stuff. Read it. Figure it out. Understand. When you're done, go back. Now, I'm not saying that's as, as, if, as if you're a fool. Seriously, I didn't know where the hell to begin when I first started on crypto years ago. I didn't know what the hell to do. It's like, what the hell's going on? You know, I, I actually started on, uh, I think it was like a damn, might have been like a Twitter account, you know, shooting some crypto information. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I click on that. I, when I first started in crypto, it was Bitcoin and Ethereum and I think uh, Litcoin or Litecoin. It was those three. And uh, I think Ethereum was like one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Right. And that was like the lowest Ethereum I've ever seen. That's where I started. I didn't know what the hell any of that shit was. I had no idea. Just one of my friends was like, hey, we should throw money into this. Like, why not? And that's that's where I started. Right. That was, I think, 2017. I think something around there. 2016, 2017. That's when I started. Right throwing little bits of money in there. I didn't throw a lot. I, if, man, if I would have threw thousands, I would be balling out of control, you know? But that's when years later, 2018, you know, 19, that's when I realized, like, dude, I'm never missing an opportunity ever again. You know, 2018 was like my deep dive research life moment. That's when I was like, boom, I was into it, trying to figure it out, learning, reading, looking into DeFi, looking into all this. And then GameFi is come popping, popping like crazy. I'm looking into all the GameFi projects, NFTs popping, looking into all that. Like, that, that's what got me into NFTs was gaming, was gaming, like Illuvium and Dra Dragon Watch Heroes and all that type of shit. You know, uh, uh, Axie Infinity and all that. And that's what made me think about NFTs. Like, what the freak is that? And that's how I deep dived and I started my research. And then I started looking into who, wh where these NFTs and these coins were coming from. You know, it's like, oh, shit, like that. This is Ethereum. Like, Ethereum dropping, you know, smart contracts and all this stuff. And I'm looking into all that reading, trying to learn. You know, then I realized, like, you got to learn coding. You, gotta, you don't have to, but you're probably better off learning that stuff you know what i mean uh at least try to learn some basics maybe like some uh some javascript or something you know what i mean uh whatever the hell works for you python or javascript whatever but you should you should or html or whatever like try to figure out some stuff like that i'm not gonna talk your head off like crazy i just i just really want to come here and show you all this news about uh, xrp and and yeah that was that was it i was like yeah we we got to do this and and yeah here we are. So, look out for XRP. Look out for L XLM. Look out for Algorand. Look out for HBAR. Look out for XDC. I think you can only get XDC on KuCoin with Tether, if I'm correct. I don't think they opened it up, but you know what? We're already here, so let's go. Let's go check on that for you real quick before we get out of here. So, if you do want to look into XLM, I mean XDC. XCC network. At literally two cents. Like that's insane. And you can go right over to the markets. Let it load up, taking forever. Use KuCoin. Send your tether to your uh your KuCoin uh address and then just uh you could you could swap the you could buy the XDC with the tether. And then you could send the XCC to your MetaMask wallet. Uh, you could you could get the uh, real quick. I'll show you this as well. What's going on here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, let's go uh, XDC Network uh, MetaMask right there, and it's gonna give you the network so you can uh, add it. So you can add uh, XFIN right here to MetaMask, and it'll it'll tell you how to do it. Right, so it, it's gonna give you a nice little. You might even be able to do it easier, like right here. Well, no, 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 I guess you can't. Uh, but yeah, you could just go like something like this. 
Be careful what you're doing, by the way. Please be careful what you're doing. Don't just add any old damn thing. Make sure it's actually official. You can go to the XDC actual site and, and get it too. You don't just have to do yada wallets and you know do sketch read. So this would be good for you to get in here and read and what is XFIN and all that. Just go to the XDMDC website and learn that way. The way I, the way I taught you, it'll, it'll be better off that way. But it's yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's gonna give you basically this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna open up your MetaMask, right? And you're gonna you're gonna click. I think it's right up here, and it's gonna bring you up to network. Oh, my hamburger, the hamburger up here, and in your wallet. If you're on a laptop, you're on your phone. It's, it's gonna be a different button, uh, and you're gonna say add network, right? You're gonna add uh, custom right here, custom, and and this is what you're gonna put into that screen to get your XFIN network, XFIN main mainnet on your MetaMask. So then you can uh, send your uh, your tokens to your MetaMask and get it off that get it off the exchange it's the number one thing you want to keep it on the you want to keep it in your own wallet not you're not your keys not your coins you know what i mean and then if you can even do better and get you a hardware wallet send it to that because this is going to be something you're going to want to hold on for a really long time this is a really solid investment no financial advice don't buy it i'm just saying whatever you're going to take off an exchange should be a solid investment you know what i mean uh, putting your money to something, make sure it's solid, which is why I'm showing you how to do the research. I'm showing you how to do the research so you can, do, you can, you can, you know, get solid information, man, and really, really deep dive in there. Take your time and be patient, man. Don't just get crazy and start buying up everything. You know, I know you don't want to miss those cheap prices, but I'm telling you, market's probably gonna go down more, especially this upcoming September. It's probably gonna go down more. But um, but I love y'all. That's enough. And I don't want to want to hold you here for thirty damn minutes. You know, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you enjoy the uh, amazing Ripple news. So word up to Ripple. Good job. Appreciate y'all for the good news. Uh, a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, do your research. Do your research. Do your research. Do not throw your money at stuff you don't know about. Do not throw your money at stuff you do not know about. Research. Don't be lazy. Be disciplined. I love y'all. I'm out of here.